Morning, everybody. Sassy Saturday. Who Delta was blowing her winds last night. It was very intense. And in the center of the storm, right? We weren't in the center of the storm. We we're kind of like on the east bands of the storm. You know, um, you know, the power of unexpected change, right? The power of unexpected change. The anticipation of unexpected change. So the power of unexpected change is evident. It brings about the best of people in the worst of times. Like you'll see it now, you know, Louisiana, we have been blessed with a community that, you know, like people are gonna rebuild. People don't move, you know, we rebuild. Where does that spirit come from? Where does that everlasting optimism come from? Where does that sense of this is my home? And I boldly embrace the good and the bad. Like Louisiana in all of the United States, when you go to our state capital, I think one of the most amazing things I saw was the art. Like, our ceiling tiles are made from pressed sugar cane, all right? And then in the middle, it shows all the agriculture, all the oil, all the things that Louisiana produces. Because we are the mouth of the Mississippi, we, get, we receive so many nutrients from the Mississippi, from the top of the United States all the way down to the, the mouth. And it also brings about the integration of culture the embracing being human, the level of self-acceptance for crazy here in Louisiana is extremely high. And when, you know, I interview successful people, what I see, the way they move, successful people are not necessarily, like their key quality is resilience, is how quickly from a sudden change can you dance and be grateful you're alive? Like that span of time is the measurement of flexibility of your nervous system. Flexibility of will you continue to mine the gold in the face of what seems to be a disarray. So to everyone waking up this morning and you're either relieved that you don't have damage or you woke up to unexpected change. Know that within you, you have the power to call forth the best of yourself right now and your neighbors are right there for you. Do connect to everything that's good in the middle of everything that looks turned over. This is a gateway for a breakthrough. All right, so let's talk about Sassy Saturday. Let's talk about the three-step process. Number one, what moves your body, what moves and, and how what you're willing to receive when you're gonna stop self-sabotaging, stop attracting things into your life that cause you severe pain, not knowing how to say no, not knowing how to contain your greatness or multiply your magnificence. So step one is you need to listen to your inner dialogue. So what do you say to yourself when you see yourself in the mirror first thing in the morning? What are your first three words? Discover that today or tomorrow morning. Look yourself in the mirror. What's your first three words? Put them here. I'll help you unlock something amazing about yourself and you tell me if you're watching this live or the replay i'll be watching this all day to listen to your first three words when you look yourself in the mirror so that's the gateway why language forms the pictures in your mind the pictures in your mind activate your emotions your emotions vibe into the universe your eyes then seek to see the things that you're vibing subconsciously 
So a lot of people that are feeling stuck in relationships, stuck with your health, can't lose the weight, feel like you self-sabotage, it's because you don't know how to search for the good within the destruction of a limiting belief. So you keep not nailing the third step in creating the life that you are born to live right okay so step one understand your language because the language is the gateway to your mind your mind will not do anything will not allow change will run from change will run from everything good if you expect that your life is going to follow the pattern of the generation before you you're here to be your own kind of beautiful you are a unique creation Okay, so that's step one. Step two is create. What's epigenetics? What you look at, you absorb. I can look at your environment. And all my clients, they send me a picture of where they wake up in the morning. I can tell you the level of their self-esteem based on what they allow themselves to see when they first wake up in the morning. Epigenetics is a huge, huge, huge breakthrough in the scientific community for you to understand the power you have to change just this much space in your house to change your confidence. Do you build altars? Do you have vision boards? Do you feel you have control over what you seek and who you become? Do you feel you can be a co-creator with the universe and receive all of your good well a lot comes to good. will you do step two do you set up an altar do you appreciate what you have do you keep an orderly home all of these things about your environment it reveals your inner language your inner dialogue is also reflected in your environment and number three do you dance because if you don't have the physical experience of feeling aligned on a daily basis, if you don't move your body in a joyful way, then everything you think and everything you do to align with who you are inside is moot because your legs don't get into the activity. And if you don't ground it, and you might say, well, I can't walk. I have trouble walking. Well, do you twinkle your toes? Like, do you put joy into the bottom of your feet? Do you allow the words that you speak about how you feel you want the world to be, how you wish the world was if everyone would just be kind? Are you celebrating that day now? Are you infusing harmony with your steps now not only do the words you speak but the steps you take literally the dance steps you take encourage and motivate and call forth your confidence so if you want an individual plan know your special dance song that turn you on and light you up so that you can claim your inner courage, courage to be you, courage to be beautiful, courage to be bold, courage to be fabulous. Like, how dare you be gorgeous, fabulous, wealthy, connected, in love with your life? Well, I ask you, who are you not to be? You were created by the Most High God. You are a work of art. And thinking less of yourself is not in alignment. So dance. So I will post my songs that I'm dancing to this week. You'll see the two. Click on them. Enjoy them. And allow your body to be filled with your Holy Spirit, have a physical experience in your dance, okay? And if you want me to help custom design your song list, dance list, and all of that fun stuff, then I'm unlocking 
the power of your words Thursday night, no charge. All you have to do is register for the webinar, fill out the form, and join me and others for a beautiful experience Thursday night. Looking forward to seeing you. Hey, Terry. Terry, show up. I want to see you in the room. Fill out the, when you register for the webinar, I'll put the link here in the comment section, not in the description section. Register for the webinar. You'll get an email and I'm going to ask you questions. Fill it out. Send it to me. Let's begin step one. Come on, Terry. You can do this. Mwah. Much love, y'all. Remember. You are a work of art. You were born to be bold. I see your beauty. And imagine a world where women feel beautiful again. Imagine that world. You already are beautiful. Now let's turn on the feel beautiful too. And then do beautiful. We'll surround the planet at lightning speed. So be it. Mwah.